Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the bill of the motion to borrow two million three hundred and thirty four thousand nine hundred and eight US dollars. That's approximately six million EC dollars for community tourism. And Mr. Speaker, just give me a few minutes, I'll take leave, to congratulate all St. Lucians on the occasion of our 45th independence anniversary. Mr. Speaker, when I heard the Prime Minister, member for Castries East, outline some of the critical areas that will be addressed under this motion and the previous motions, Mr. Speaker, I said no wonder the Prime Minister is accused of not having a plan. What he has, Mr. Speaker, is action because I found out that the opposite side had many plans but there were no actions following the plan. So the actions precede any plan. With community tourism, Mr. S Speaker, I see the opportunity for all communities in St. Lucia to benefit from community tourism. And I lend my full support to this motion and other motions that have been tabled on this floor in sharing what we call the pie, the community, the, the tourism pie. Because tourism is our leading economic activity to generate revenue to sustain this country. And every St. Lucian will want to have a share of that pie. And I think it will be an opportunity for each community each constituency to be branded on the tourism. And I can see the brand that I will give my constituency, which is agro-tourism, because my constituency is well known for agriculture. And if we do not have agriculture, I saw the Minister of Agriculture there smiling, without agriculture, we cannot have tourism. It means we have to import everything we need to serve our tourists. And our tourists are coming here to experience the indigenous things that we have. What is St. Lucian? And if we can produce things here, not just agriculture, craft. I can see Schrozel going into craft tourism, um, Sufra going into tourism, agro, because the tourism is their baby. They are the heartbeat of tourism. And as you move around, you can see some distinct features that highlight some of the communities. And Mr. Speaker, I can see this exploding and growing from strength to strength. The community tourism, as I spoke earlier, Mr. Speaker, will give rise to food security. We have to produce we have to have supplies to serve our tourists. And it is also going to boost the agricultural sector because persons working in the agricultural sector will find markets for their produce. So you can see the correlation, the collaboration, the interrelated connection of all different sectors. Mr. Speaker, as was outlined, some communities are starting off, and I think all other communities are waiting with bated breath on when the turn will come. And we may have to start and invite the Ministry of Tourism to come along because we are on a ticking time, a clock ticking, and therefore some persons may not have all the time to wait. Mr. Speaker, I see community tourism and all the other initiatives undertaken by this government under the leadership of the member for Castries East 
and also Prime Minister of, con of this country, as really focusing on our young people. And too many times we hear people speak about they are not catering for the youth. How else can we cater for the youth, Mr. Speaker? Community tourism will create opportunities for them to start their own business. We have the youth economy. That's specifically for youth to start their own business, create employment, and they can develop their business around tourism. We have the semi-professional football league, sports tourism. We have the seven crop program by Ministry of Agriculture, food security, agro-tourism. We have mi micro, small, and medium-sized businesses. They create opportunities. They can make some of them tourism. They can make some in agriculture. It is very wide. We have the contribution made in education that was debated earlier this morning, Mr. Speaker, and the heavy investment in education. That is in our youth, Mr. Speaker. We have health, universal health care. We want our young persons to live longer. So we are preparing them for the future. All these programs are focusing on the youth. And when we talk about community tourism, Mr. Speaker, infrastructure. Infrastructure, we cannot allow persons to come here and they do not have a smooth ride. So infrastructure is linked to community tourism. And don't tell them, oh, you are going in the bush somewhere in Babono and therefore the road is not good. They will need good roads to go to their community tourism. So we can marry that. Mr. Speaker, we have the issue of equity and the social programs so that our people here begin to receive our tourists, visitors to our country, and treat them well, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I can say free go on record. In spite of all what people may say about this country, the Helen of the West, my experience working in St. Lucia, my experience working regionally, my experience working globally, reveals that in the Caribbean, St. Lucia has a set of people that are most friendly. Amen. And this is not something I'm asking you, Mr. Speaker. I'm telling you based on my experience working in the region internationally for over three decades. And this is what goes for us, and tourism is benefiting heavily on how St. Lucians are hospitable, how they are friendly, and how they make people feel welcome in our society. And therefore, our social programs play a critical role in developing this positive attitude. Mr. Speaker, as we look at community tourism, <coughs> I heard my colleague, parliamentarian from Labry, spoke about the baton relay. We are waiting for our turn. I know the member for Cast Resist will be handing us the baton. And I notice I'm seeing photos they are sending me here, Mr. Speaker. And the people in Babono are busy transforming the community because we want Babono to be the cleanest community for the baton relay, Mr. Speaker. And this baton relay, Mr. Speaker, as we talk of community tourism, is actually exposing St. Lucia to the world. The good, the bad, or the ugly will come out. And therefore, we must ensure that we have good coming out. And it goes in every community. And if we profit this community tourism, it will be a major marketing tool for tourism in St. Lucia. It's going to bring out our rich history. Things people never knew about our country will come out 
in the battle really and collaborating with community tourism. It brings out persons of different personalities, persons who have contributed to the development of our country. That is an important tourism product, Mr. Speaker. It is a marketing tool. It's going to boost community tourism, and people will want to visit that place. They saw it on the baton relay. Where can I go? Where do they have this? Where do they have that? That is partnering with community tourism to broaden the product. Mr. Speaker, I am fully cognizant that tourism is important. Community tourism and the other related activities around that is critical for economic growth to facilitate development in our country. And Mr. Co Mr. Speaker, Mavle di la chance la nou ka prete ya. Pou 6 million dollars cette lici. La chance la nou ka servi pou bay tout moun au liwo cette lici en ti morceau en dollar touriste la. Et c'est ça qui a mené un chèque plaisir. Bye, cette lycée. Côté tout le monde qui a joué un petit morceau en tourisme. Ou ça a été Mikou, ou ça a été Denry, ou ça a été Soufouye, ou ça a été Babono, Gozile, touriste là qui a tout partout, cette lycée. Et tout le monde qui a fait un petit dollar. Puis on a mis manger à sous table là, puis on a fait un l'école, puis on a fait un santé, puis on a fait une petite commission, et puis on vit en bonne condition. That is the benefit of community tourism in St. Lucia. And for this, Mr. Speaker, I give my full support to this motion as we await, all of us here, await our fair share of this pie. I thank you. <laughs>